In this part, we are going to clean the throttle body. Uh, as you can see, the throttle body is fairly dirty. There's a lot of buildup within the plates themselves. Um, the outside of the, of the throttle body is not bad. Um, what we're going to be doing is removing some of the wiring. We're going to be removing the uh, injectors and any related hoses um, so that we can put the whole throttle body into a bath. Okay, first I'm going to be removing the uh, idle adjustment by unthreading it. Okay, I am now going to be removing the injector harness. Um, they have these little clips that you have to squeeze and then they pop off. Remove the connector from the throttle position sensor and put it aside. We're now going to remove the vacuum lines. Remove the vacuum caps. Next, we'll be removing the fuel rail. And gently lift up on the fuel rail and slowly work them off the injectors. Okay. Now the orientation of this is this way in the bike. So I am going to pull each injector out and set them aside in order from one to four because um, I'll be labeling these injectors so I can put them back in the same order. Okay, now I'm going to put some hose caps on these two inlet water inlets. I'm now going to be removing the throttle position sensor. Um, this is adjustable via the uh, ECU uh, diagnostics, um, so I'm not too worried about its position. Um, I'm using a security Torx bit and just loosen them up inside and pull the screws out. Slowly work it off the shaft and set it aside. The throttle body is now ready for its bath. Um, 
I'm using a product called Barkeeper's Friend. It's a metal cleaner. Uh, I've had great success with it uh, on carburetors. Um, I used it on a Ninja carburetor, which had some corrosion in it. Um, it cleaned all the metal up flawlessly and it uh, cleaned all the corrosion off the parts. Um, I was able to get that carburetor back on the road and um, I'm anxious to see how well it works on the throttle body. Okay, I have the soap ready and I'm ready to put the throttle body into the water and we're just going to set it in so that it fully covers. Well, it's been about three hours and let's see how it looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. The inside of the, on the engine side is clean. The front side didn't quite get it clean. It actually looks like that surface has the plating is actually corroded but it's clean okay let's dry this off give it a good rinse and uh, put it back together now we're washing the throttle body in clear water and just giving it a good thorough rinse. After the bath, I gave it a good cleaning with the rag and a stiff brush and some uh, just regular cleaning soap. And I was able to get it really good. Um, looks almost brand new. Um, the only thing I do know is that the um, Barkeeper's friend soap did do a bit of electrolysis where the plated parts turned uh, aluminum colored. And I'm not sure if it actually just cleaned the surface off or if it actually was a little bit of electrolysis. It did not do it, well, anything to the brass. It was just the plate. All the all the plates that were along here all had changed colors other than that it looks great okay next I'm going to be spraying all of the metal joints with a multi-purpose lubricant all right now that the lubricant has sat for a little while and we can wipe off any excess residue now I'm going to clean each injector with a throttle body cleaner um, I'm going to be spraying onto the end and I'm going to spray into the inlet um, and just clean the overall body now I'm going to put some of the seals on the injectors uh, I have all my uh, seals lined up here and I am going to use a small amount of petroleum jelly in order to slide them on smoothly. Okay I'm going to apply a little bit of lubricant to the surface and I'm going to slide the seal all the way down like that and repeat that for the rest of the injectors. Now I'm going to insert the seal into the, the socket. I'm going to do that by applying a very light amount of lubricant to the side of the seal and to slowly push the seal into the hole and repeat for the other three okay finally I want to put the o-rings on the end of the injectors 
and I will put a little bit of lubricant on the edge of the seal and to slowly work it around so it sits just like that. Repeat for the other three injectors. Now I'm going to lube each end of the injector. And repeat for each injector. Now with the injector ports oriented toward me, um, this is cylinder number one, this would be two, three, and four. Um, I have the injectors in the appropriate order in front of each throttle body. Uh, I'm now going to snip off the number I have assigned to it. And insert the injector slowly, slowly rocking it until it's fully seated. We now have the throttle body with all the injectors installed. Now we need to line up and slide the fuel rail onto the injectors. Um, this is the side with the throttle position sensor. So this uh, uh, valve is on the left side. So we slowly set it on. Get them all lined up and then slowly from one end push in slightly, get the faces lined up, push the next one in, line them up and slowly get the right side down. Rock this one a little bit. Okay, that's down. Okay, now we want to put the spacer underneath and slide the screw in. And proceed to screw it down lightly while maintaining alignment. Okay, now snug down the screws. Okay, we're now going to reinstall the throttle position sensor. Um, this sits on the bike this way, this being the front. So we can come up here and this sensor goes on facing toward the rear and there's a little should be a little spring tension on that so we put the screws in and just bring them down lightly not quite tight Okay, I'm going to rotate this to about the middle and I'm going to lightly tighten it down. This will be readjusted later. We're now going to install the vacuum lines. These vacuum lines are in good shape. I'm not going to bother changing them. Um, they all install on this the rightmost post and I'm also installs on the vacuum valve. So I'll start with the vacuum valve and insert it. Okay, and just 
go along and push them onto the, each one of the posts. Now we're going to install the wiring harness. Um, these connectors are toward the fuel inlet. Um, all of the gray connectors are your fuel injectors and this one is the vacuum sensor and this one over here is the position sensor so we lay it across here get each one of the injectors plugged in just down the line on each injector this other one didn't sound like it snapped all the way i guess it did okay and the final one. Okay, the injector. All right, the throttle position sensor is connected. Now we got to do the vacuum sensor and we feed that line underneath and over top the vacuum lines and plug it into the sensor. Now we're going to install the vacuum caps. These vacuum caps are aftermarket caps. It's actually two caps, one inside the other. Makes it very tight and very stiff. Um, so it doesn't require having to have a clamp on it. Uh, so when I'm doing testing, there's nothing to drop into the engine. Um, this worked out very well doing it this way. So it's basically, let's see if I can pull it out. Nope, they're very tight. <laughs> In any case, there are two caps put together. And when I put them on the post, they push very hard down. Okay, now we're going to install our idle adjustment cable. I'm gonna insert the washer and the spring and Thread it on, turning clockwise. And turn it a couple turns to get a initial idle opening. Now we do a final inspection. Make sure everything's in the proper place and there's no grommets or seals out of place. Everything looks tight. Everything is in its right place. I did have to reroute this cable through the underside. I had it on the overside, top side so that this sat correctly. Um, this gets routed underneath this clip and uh, everything looks good. I decided to take the throttle body boot off as well, um, cleaned it off and inspected for any um, damage. Uh, they all look good. Uh, make sure I'll give it a good cleaning. And when they go back, there's two, a little keyway here and there's a keyway on the top of the engine. So when you put it back on, lube the surface slightly, and then slide it on and line up this keyway.